Hey everybody, Pixel here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we went through Mount Mortar for the first time ever for me. Uh, I went ahead off screen. I trained everyone up to level 30. Uh, there was no change to any of their move sets, but uh, here's what they're all looking like. I did consider giving Rocky uh, Rock Polish, which it tried to learn at level 30. Didn't go with it because I don't. I don't particularly care for stat moves. It is nice having Screech on Rocky though to reduce defense because as you can see its attack stat is waning compared to early game. So level yeah 39 not too great. Uh, keeping Salad in the lead because Salad is uh, getting pretty close to evolving. Have you seen this guy with a black cape? He's been going back and forth between here and Lake of Rage saying strange radio waves are being transmitted. Who is he, I wonder? Huh. wonder if he's a celebrity of some type. This is the store in this town. <laughs> the experiment worked like a charm. Magikarp are just worthless, but Gyarados are big money makers. Um... Huh? You hear wind blowing into this room? That's, uh, just me whistling. Enough about that, why don't you buy something? So... It's pretty suspicious, right? He's talking about wind blowing and like there's he he sells only tiny mushrooms, pokeballs and potions in the pretty much seventh town of the game. Uh yeah, that's a bit weird. So I'm just going to tell you now, you are going to want pokeballs coming up, but you aren't going to want pokeballs. You're going to want some higher form. So uh I recommend flying to, not Chinewood City, Olivine City. You should fly to Olivine City. Don't do what I just did. Uh, because Olivine City is going to have the Pokemon with the most recent items. And, uh, that'll probably just be Great Balls, but it's better than nothing. This is the right place to go. So, uh, I'm gonna buy some Pokeballs and I'll be back. I guess I'll meet you back at Mahogany Town. See you guys in a sec. Alright, I'm back. I went ahead and I bought uh, some Hyper Potions. I bought none of the rest of this stuff in here. I also bought some Ultra Balls and some Great Balls. They do sell Ultra Balls in Olivine City. Uh, I wonder. This Bullet Seed TM has been here for a while. I'm wondering if Heracross can actually learn it. No, that's okay. Heracross can learn Bullet Seed in uh, future generations, so I was just curious about that. But there's nothing else here I really want to teach. Drain Punch could be good, but we're going to save that for a little while. So with that, uh, let's head out to the Lake of Rage. It's to the north of Mahogany Town. I heard that you can find a red scale occasionally. Speaking of which, I know a person who'd appreciate a red scale. Who? I can't remember. I can, but we won't be talking about that right now. There are some trainers here, and uh, that's convenient because there's also one new encounter here. Um, Girafferig. Girafferig is a mixed attacker with decent speed, but its defenses are pretty bad. The main draw is its type. It's not completely weak to fighting, which is new for a normal type, but because of that it has the added weakness to dark, which is a less common type, so it's not terrible. I like Girafferig a lot. If you watch Lucagen's uh, blind Pokemon Soul Silver Let's Play, you'll see that she used a Girafferig throughout the entire game, and I commend her for that because I couldn't. I would fail terribly. I've never used a Girafferig before. I just quite like the fact that it gets a lot of cool moves, it has a cool design. Speaking of cool design, you can see it's designed from the Gold, Silver, and Crystal demo, and uh, it's okay. Instead of having two heads, it just ended up having a Chain Chomp on its tail, which... Either way, I like its design. It's a cool Pokémon. It's a lot of cool moves, it can get moves like Extra Sensory, it could get Psychic, I'm pretty sure it can learn Shadow Ball. Uh, it gets double kick, just gets a lot of cool moves. So, yeah. One thing to note is that its pre-evolution really looks like it wants to fight. 
Okay. Now that's done. Um, this trainer has... This, this trainer's been pretty underwhelming. He had a sand shrew, a sand slash, and something that I thought Togetic would be necessary for. I don't recommend going in this gate. If you go in this gate, there are Team Rocket Grunts waiting inside. They will force you to pay to go through. Instead, you can just go through all this tall grass. Of course, there's more trainers this way, but that's not a terrible thing. I've grown into the habit of instead of trying to avoid trainer battles, I just take them on, because it's easier. It's the same with wild Pokemon, I used to run from them a lot, now I just fight them to get the extra experience. Um, and that's what I recommend you do, because this is Gen 4, this is before Pokemon became ridiculously easy, so you want all the experience you can get. I'm really appreciating the fact that Salad has Magical Leaf, because we've come across a lot of Pokemon that are trying to raise their evasion. Which is a legitimate type of tanking, it's just the kind that everybody hates you for. I played too much, that's true. Uh, I don't like Clefairy that much. I like Clefable, not Clefairy. Stop it. Clefairy's not that bad. You can give it an Eviolite. Eviolite didn't exist yet though, so Clefairy sucks. I'm out of here. So, yeah, you can surf here. Um, as you can see, there is a cut tree there, but we're being interrupted by wild magic harps. I should probably use a repel. Now that I actually think about it, repel would be very nice to have here. So there's a lot of tall grass. There's a lot of there's a lot of water, and uh, I don't want to deal with it. All right. So for some reason, all that's hidden behind this tree is a black Af Africorn. I don't completely understand why, but who am I to judge? Or excuse me, not a black apricorn, a bull capricorn. Ugh, just saying that makes me feel like I'm gonna throw up. Okay. Surf, let's see. Is this just a shortcut to get further after that? No, there's more. Okay. We'll save that fisherman for a little bit. So as you can see, we're in the Lake of Rage now. It is very heavily raining, and there are a lot of trees in the water. Um, so there's a reason for this. There's a rumor, I'm not sure if it's a theory, I'm pretty sure it's official, that the Lake of Rage used to be a town. I mean, even in the game, obviously, it used to be a town because this is an area you can fly to. We found a red flute. That's actually a very unique item. Let's see what it does. Um, snaps a single Pokemon out of infatuation. Okay, so not only is it unique because that's a uh, exclusive ability, but since it says times one, you'd think that this is like this is a disposable item, right? But this never runs out. You can use this as many times as you like, and that's very cool. If you find all the flutes, then you can have one for every stat, and that's just very useful. Okay, continuing on though. We've been hearing a lot about the color red lately. It's probably related to this area. Can't say I know why. Okay, don't want that repel wearing off. Not using the red flute. Uh, it's not a medicine. Okay. If repel was a medicine, a Pokemon would prefer to stay fainted, honestly. Okay. Let's continue through here. This maze is a little bit, like, difficult to navigate just because there's a lot of dead ends. But it is cool seeing, like, all these are trees. Like, these are drowned trees. I, I think this is just a cool concept for an area. Like, it used to be, a, it used to be a town, and now it's just drowned completely with water. get secret power here. This is actually a very cool move. Um, its type and attack power depends on the Pokemon using it. It depends on a lot of things that I'm not going to go into because it's complicated and boring. But uh, it can be a good move depending on what your Pokemon is. There is a way to find out. Don't remember what. 
you have strayed far. Here I have meditated. Inside me a new power has been awakened. Let me share my power with you, your Pokemon. Take this, child. He'll give us TM10. I was thinking about a different move. Do you see it? It is hidden power. It draws out the power of Pokemon for attacking. Remember this. Its type and power depend on the Pokemon using it. Okay. Yeah, that is the different... That is the different move I was thinking. Secret power is a bit different. It... The move has different effects depending on where it's used. It's also a physical 70 power normal type move. I really like secret power when I'm playing through like a game's main story. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to teach it to... Ego, because Ego needs more physical moves to go with Hustle, because I didn't reset for, uh, for, uh, that other move. You know the one. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna give Secret Power to Ego. I doubt I'll use it that much, but it's good to have. It's good to have incentive to use Hustle to its advantage, so. Surf again, and, uh... I'll I'll meet you back at where that fisherman was because uh, this is gonna take a while. Never mind, that didn't take that long at all. All right, who cares about repel? I care about repel. Super repel. Uh, let's continue on. No hidden item there. It looks like a hidden item spot. But... Yeah, this fisherman has a very long line of sight, apparently. I'm in a slump. Maybe it's the gear I'm using. Let's battle for a change of pace. Alright, that's what you want to do, bud. I'm going to destroy you. Fisherman Marvin. Is this going to be the guy with the six Magikarps, or was that early? Okay, he only has three. I think the guy with the six Magikarps was earlier on in the game, and I was probably going over a bio while I fought him. Which is good for you. You don't want to watch that. In every game, there's been a guy who has six Magikarps just because... Oh, he has a Gyarados. You know, this guy's this guy's better than the other fishermen. But with the Gyarados and all. I think I'm going to keep out Bayleaf. Magical Leaf will still do neutral damage, and I don't want Intimidate to like, cut the attack of any of my physical attackers, so. Then again, it does have good special, yeah, not only did half its health, and it has Thrash, that's a tough move. It's also hacked, because, uh, Gyarados can only have tackle... Not e yes, okay. Tackle, Splash, and Bite is all Gyarados could have by level 20, so... It's just an interesting bit of the of the developers wanting something to be more difficult than it should be. But that's alright. 916. That's a lot of experience. For a level 20 Gyarados, jeez. Okay. Magikarp. Level 15. Dude. You have a Gyarados. You could just train your other Magikarp to become Gyarados, you know? And since you're not opposed to hacking to get a better Gyarados than you should have, why don't you just have three Gyaradoses? I lost, but I feel better anyway. That's cool. Alright. Continuing on here. Yeah, let's skip that guy. We'll talk to him later because he has an interesting bit of text that I actually want to talk about. Uh... Fishing Guru's house. So you'll think, oh, this is probably where you get the Super Rod, right? The Lake of Rage is actually a crater made by rampaging Gyarados. The crater filled up with rainwater, and the lake was formed. That's the story passed on from my grandpa's great-great-grandpa. It used to be that you could catch lively Magikarp there, but I don't understand what's happening. So yeah, he doesn't give you a fishing rod, um, and he never will. I'll tell you that right now. You can see something a bit odd up there, but I do want to show something. If you were to fish with a good rod here, instead of a magic harp, which this place is known for, you will find a magic harp. That was a bad example. Okay, essentially what I'm saying is Gyarados is much more common here, despite everyone saying that this is a good place for catching magic harp. Um, 
but it didn't work out in my favor. Anyway, there's something quite obviously strange up here, so let's go and see. Yeah, so this is a shiny Gyarados. That's all there is to it, it's shiny. But this is why I recommended you get a bunch of Pokeballs, because it's not very often you'll come across a shiny, and even if it's required to be a shiny by the game's code, it's still cool to have. Okay, so this Gyarados is level 30, that's a bit of an issue. Um, let's go for, I'm just gonna set up a Reflect. It does have Dragon Rage, which bypasses Reflect and everything, because it does set damage. Eek. That's a lot of damage. Ignore the obvious reference in there. Okay. Um. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. It's not that much damage, really, Phil. It's not. Could could be a lot worse. I'm gonna switch. Am I gonna switch? E. This is a bit of a bad situation. I don't really have anyone who can do much at all against this thing, but. I'm gonna assume Heracross won't be able to knock out even with a Silk Scarf Horn attack because it's level 30. This Twister. What is this thing's moveset? Twister looks really cool in Gen 4, but it's still a bad move. This thing has two Dragon type moves. It's really just rubbing in the fact that it's not a Dragon Dragon type, even though it should be. Yeah, that didn't do any. That didn't do much damage at all. It's just gonna keep going for Twister. I think it might be confused. Hurricane is the move that confuses. And does damage to Heracross, bud. Okay. That did more than... The other two, didn't it? That's okay. The more damage, the merrier. Damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay. After this... Yeah. Now it's in range that I'll kill it with any other moves, so... That was a good time to start throwing Pokeballs at it. Reflect War off. That's no good. Pretty sure this thing has Thrash, so... Uh, let's see. Great Ball, I'm just gonna go with an Ultra Ball. It's safer. One. Jeez. Yeah, for some reason, every time it comes out of a Pokeball, like, even when you're trying to catch it, the shiny animation plays, which, more power to, more power to it. Gets to brag every time it comes out, but... Uh, there's a joke there. I'm not gonna go into it. Uh... Well, Ugo, it's your turn to fail. If Heracross can't do it, then you can't do it. One, two, three... Wow, Ego just really wanted to prove that it was better than Heracross. And you know what? I gladly accept that, Ego. Except I don't. Everyone is equal in this team. Equality. Atrocious Pokemon. Once it appears, it goes on a rampage. It remains enraged until it demolishes everything around it. So we just saved this area. Do I like to nickname it? No. Transfer to box one because we have Oddish. We'll obtain the red scale. You want to head back to shore? And here's that black cape dude, the, the person in Mahogany Town was talking about. That red at Gyarados wasn't acting right. As I feared, somebody must have forced it to evolve. Did you come here because of the wild tales? You're Ashley? I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumbling, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, Ashley. I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Well, I've been known to Let's Play an Ace Attorney game, so sure. Excellent. Seems that the Lake of Rage's magic are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany is the cause. I'll be waiting for you, Ashley. I think we all know where that is. Yep. 
yeah, it's it's quite obvious where that broadcast would be coming from. So let's go check it out. Dragonite Hyperbeam. What took you so long, Ashley? Just as I thought, the strange radio signal is coming from here. The stairs are right here. Ashley, we should split up to check this place. I'll go first. He will go first because that's going to be saved for next time. Next time in Pokemon Soul Silver, we're going to be exploring this hidden base and finding out the cause for all the Gyarados being forced to evolve. See you guys then.